It's 2023, and if you want to be an editor, you have to learn how to pump out videos quicker than the Titan sub imploded. If you find that it takes many hours out of your day just to make one video, then here's seven time-saving tips for editing in Premiere Pro. Before we get started, keep this in mind. We're trying to limit our mouse usage. Go to your computer and open it up. One of the first things you want to do after importing your footage is cut it up into the best bits. Here's the quickest way to cut your clips. Go into keyboard shortcuts by either going to the edit drop down menu and clicking keyboard shortcuts or by Remember, Remember this. this. Remember it. Pressing the shortcut, Control Alt K. Then click on the letter C, remove that one, type in this little search box, add edit, assign it to C, and boom! You can cut anywhere your playhead is all by clicking one button. Next tip, is this you? Highlighting the clips with your mouse, pressing delete, and then dragging all the other clips across? Oh! What the fuck? Meet Ripple Delete. With Ripple Delete, all you have to do is highlight the clips you don't want, press whatever shortcut you've set for Ripple Delete. Mine's a Z. And there you go. Those horrendous jokes you didn't want in the video are now gone. 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 Bonus tip, instead of using the mouse to highlight all the clips, set a keyboard shortcut for highlight clips at playhead. The default shortcut is D. Now you won't have to use your mouse to highlight. Tip number three, if you want to navigate the timeline with speed, you need to be able to navigate your timeline without dragging the playhead. Here's where the arrow keys come in handy. The default shortcuts have the up and down arrow keys linked to go to next edit point and go to previous edit point. All this means is that when you click up and down, it goes to every single cut that you've made. If these aren't toggled, these are the tracks, then it's gonna skip over the cuts that are on those tracks. To change that, go to the shortcuts and change it to go to next slash previous edit point on any track. And now you can navigate between clips as quickly as possible. Tip number four. In Premiere Pro, timelines can be really overwhelming. <laughs> So the best way to visually combat this is by labeling clips. With labels, you can change the color of video and audio tracks. Maybe you have subtitles for a specific person that's only one color. Now you can visually see who's talking and when. Yeah. 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 To do this, you select which clips you want, right click, go to label and choose the color that you want. And there you go. Now you have a visually stunning timeline instead of a dull, boring, bland, Moth eaten? And to customize the label names and colors, all you gotta do is go to Edit, Preferences, and Label. And here, you can change it all. Treat me like what is. Tip number five. You might have heard someone talk about presets in Premiere Pro, but what are they? Shut up, I'm about to tell you. Presets are pre made settings that let you apply consistent effects. Transit. Basically, if you have an edit that you've made that's really cool on one clip and you want to be able to always add that edit to any clip that you want without having to do all the hard work again, presets. presets. Now to presets. save a preset, all you have to do is right click on the effect and click save preset. Name it what you want. Now you can access that by going to your effects panel and going to the presets folder. There are a ton of pre-made presets you can download from the internet, both free and paid. But I'd suggest trying to make some of your own if you edit frequently because only you know what you want. You know who else knows what you want? The algorithm. It's kind of creepy to be honest. Stop, stop, stop. If you want to show the algorithm that you mean business, make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like. I'll put a link to some of the best preset packs you can download for free in the description below, as well as some paid ones. Tip number six. I know that you think organization isn't important and that you can download everything you need and just leave it in the downloads folder. But having a projects folder that you can put all your downloaded effects and files into goes a long way when you're 30 hours into a video and can't find the file you downloaded three projects ago because your downloads folder is a mess. Make a folder, title it what you want, and make that your project folder by choosing it from this drop down when starting a new video. And don't worry, S stop worrying. You can change it at any time by going into file, project settings, and scratch settings. Side note, I'll cover this in a future video, but having a default folder structure template per project is something that can shave a lot of time off of organization. I've got it set up so that I click one button and every folder is created as needed and organized properly. Stay tuned as I'll make a video about that. And that goes nicely into the last tip, which is have a plan. Whether you're going into making a five second long TikTok or a two hour documentary on why they should make Titanfall 3, please, please. Having a plan for your project can drastically reduce the total amount of time spent editing. Doesn't have to be a crazy, ridiculous plan. Something as simple as writing down dot points or typing up a script can go a long way. Congratulations, you are now ready to become the most efficient editor in the West. Looks like when they made this fella, they forgot to put in the quit. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Peace.